Hello everyone, here is a quick overview of the Ultimate Hedger EA. This is a hedging EA, which means it trades both directions. So it can take advantage uh, whichever way the market goes. Um, so the EA, you have two EAs, one for buy and one specifically for sell. So installing the EA is very simple, just like any other EA. You go into uh, open file and open data folder and then you go into mql4 and then you put it inside your expert and then once you're done you can close this and right click and do refresh and then you should see ultimate hazard buy v3 and also sell v3 so you will open two charts just like i have here so uh here i have your usd and also another your usd so one you will put the buy on there just like i have the buy here and the other one you will have the sell on there so this is the setup and and then that's it and it will start trading um so let's take a look at what's inside so this is a little bit uh information for what is required to trade it and also in the documentation but uh just for a quick reference is right here on the about tab all right so when we look at the input we will start our loss sizes uh, from point zero 0.01. And then uh, if you want it to grow dynamically, you can set it to true. So for every 10,000, it will use lot size uh, 0 0.01. So if you have 20,000, the lot size will start from two. So you don't have to change anything. It will do it dy dynamically. All right, and this is the take profit. Uh, and so on and the lot exponent so when it goes against you uh when you whenever the lot size needs to be increased how much uh this is what is used for and magic number the total number of trades and also uh ways to reduce the drawdown if uh it keeps trending going in one direction uh you can use uh atr pip step so this will be a dynamically so when the market is ranging it will not be taking trade even though the pip step tells it to take it it's going to stay out uh out of the market so it will reduce uh the drawdown and also you can use uh dynamic take profit which is also based on the atr and these are the factors and uh the info so one for low normal and then three, four going up will be a stream uh, uh, drawdown low, so it will stay out of the market. So again, just like uh, the, if you make it lower, it would take time before it hit the TP. So longer time as compared to if it were uh, just low, and then you'll be able to take your profit. Uh, if you turn it to false, then you're not using any of these. Uh, this one is false, but this one is true, so it will make the drawdown lower. And also you have, so as uh, if uh, trade is going against you, let's say you're doing a buy and it's going down. So you take another buy, you take another buy, you take another buy. So the lot size each time is being multiplied by 1.35. So the lot size get bigger and bigger but you can set a cap on there so it doesn't take more than this so this is true so we're saying it start from 0 0.01 so as it increase when you get to point uh zero two or 20 cents don't take any trade so it will continue to take trades but it, the lot sizes after after it hit 20 will stay the same until it pull back up and then all the, your trades is clear so this is another way to uh, use for money management. And also you can use your equity stop. So if it goes against you for too long, if it hit this percentage, you can tell it to stop trading. Or you can say close all trades. You're going to cut your, uh, your losses from there. And uh, you have your trading times when you want the EA to start, what days and time and if you wanted to close on friday start on sunday so you can set it and then it'll automatically start uh trading for you so here are the settings for it uh very safe to use because you can set uh the cap so it doesn't get bigger and bigger to have a big drawdown you have dynamic uh, 
uh, pip step so it could lower your drawdown as well. So this is the Ultimate Hedger uh, EA and um, and this is how to set it up. So based on your account, uh, we have more information inside the document uh, on what to use and also you can look at it here on the about tab it has the suggested amount uh, so for five thousand you can use it on the cent account so uh, as well so equivalent five thousand for, uh, for each pair that you want to trade but if you trade in gold make sure you have at least uh, 10k to start thank you